Hello, my lovely fire signs. Thank you so much for tuning in. This will be for all my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We will go ahead and do a general reading. Before we get started with that, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and support me, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that. Check out my Facebook, my Instagram as well. And then, you guys, if you want to book a full reading with me, you can for $25 or a mini reading for $15. Either way, they're both good. Now, you guys, let's go ahead. Whatever we get, whatever resonates with you, take it. If it don't, don't make it fit, okay? Let's get started, all right? We're going to start with Zodiacs. My lovely fire, let's see what we get. Let's get a beautiful message for you today. I'm really excited, all right? You guys got Libra in the bottom. We got Uranus. For a planet, okay? So you got number Libra, number Libra, number seven, it is Libra. It's about balance, okay? That is kind of like air sign. <laughs> so let's see what we get. Let's see, you guys got Libra, number seven. It says, um, air, and it's a cardinal. The key phrase for you is I balance. It says, the discerning energy of air takes on the cardinal solvic Sorry, the discerning, <laughs> the discerning energy of air takes on the cardinal solvent quality and encourages identity and, and encourages <laughs> identifying and solving problems. The key phrase I balance means that fairness, justice, and everyone getting along are the primary motivational drives. In this situation, ask. How can I manifest fair and stable balance? Ideals are beautiful things and very good guides. Ideals are great guiding stars and the desire for fairness. Commendable. <laughs> However, in the real world, ideals rarely exist in pristine form and justice elusive. At some point, decisions need to be made, avoid indecisiveness, okay? So it's letting me know my fire signs that you're getting I you're getting these ideas, you know, this motivation. And it's gonna really balance you out. And overall, um <laughs> stay balanced within yourself, okay? I feel like you've learned some lessons. Don't don't allow yourself to get confused or stuck, okay? You're always coming up with things. Use that to your advantage, okay? That will really help you. I love it. Let's go ahead. And let's let's see what we got for your message today, okay? And again, you guys go ahead and subscribe, all right? Doggies. Ooh, that looks really like a good message. Eight of Wands, Aries Girl Sagittarius. Let's go ahead. Let's get one card. Let's get one card for my lovely fire signs. One card. Ooh, taking action. Not all the cards, just one card. Strength card. Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys may be Leo. And at the bottom, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Standing your ground, being strong. Angel number 77 for some of you guys. Um, I see the moon. Yeah, you're 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 standing strong. You're standing your ground. That's beautiful energy. You're overcoming a lot. You're showing up in your energy. Some of you guys are Leos. The bottom, the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, <laughs> Page of Wands. <laughs> yeah, this is you. Some of you guys are young, young spirited, or starting on something new. You're coming up with these creative ideas. You know, you're being fun. You're being playful for some of you guys. <laughs> The page of bonds is considered a flirt or K or player energy. At the bottom, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Look at those scales. Look at the balance. Libra, again, my fire signs. You're about justice, okay? You're being strong. You've been through a lot. Standing your ground. Seven of wands, okay? Every single Sagittarius is showing up in your energy, y'all. Wow. Um... Yeah, you're standing your ground, you're moving forward, you're pushing through. And yeah, every people are, you know, you may come up with ideas that other people can use, okay? Ah, the lovers wanted to flip out the Knight of Wands at the bottom. <laughs> um, 
Let's get one. And feeling abundant within yourself, okay? I'm like, should I take that? Ah, don't fall. I'm glad I didn't. The night, the night of wands. My fire. You're all in your reading at the bottom. Uh, the hangman having a different perspective. You are showing up all up in your energy. Oh my god, this is about taking action, okay? Moving forward, not wasting any time. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna pull from these cards, putting it into Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> Y'all got fire sign throughout the whole reading right now. That's pretty cool. That's cool, okay? Woo, you guys. Excuse my hair. I don't like that little one for you. Excuse me, y'all. Wow. Amazing. I don't flip over yet. Four of Wands. 11 11. <laughs> 11 for some of you guys. Happiness, reunions, get together, marriage for some of you guys. You've been, you've been a warrior. Let's go ahead. The full, a new journey, a new beginning. Some of you guys are taking a, a, a risk, a leap of faith, okay? And you're being strong. And you've had to be strong. For some of you guys, you've had to be strong all your life, you know? But it's time for you to relax. Clarify the strength card. We have the High Priestess! That is Taurus energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn for some of you guys because it's grounded. Look, we're Pisces, depending on the person, the tarot reader. All right, the bottom of the five of cups. You're moving on. You're no longer focusing on the, the negatives. You're focusing on the positive, the positives that are all around you still. And you know what's coming to you. The high priestess is intuitive, okay? They know everything. They see everything. They see through people. You can't pull one over, okay? They do their research. They know who they are. They're in tune. They're balanced. They got the pillars, okay? And you're a strong person, a strong parent. Up here. A strong individual, a strong person, okay? You've been through a lot, you've seen a lot, you've done a lot, and you listen to yourself. You know. Look, they're sitting on the computer doing that research, okay? The high priestess. Powerful energy, my fire sign. Clarify the page of wands. We have <laughs> sorry you guys. We have the ace of wands and the six of pentacles. Again. This was showing out when I have first flipped it out. So, um, again, cutting things off at the bottom, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You are going to be taking these divinely guided ideas. You're going to be putting them to play. Again, you want to balance equal give and take. Whatever you're working, I feel like this could be with money too. Because we got gifts. Whatever it is, if it's money, if it's career or anything like that. <laughs> It will be balanced out, okay? Do not worry. Stay strong. And if you get these ideas that you want to work towards, put them into play. Put them to action. It will make you feel good, okay? God is coming in. And it's 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 a fair... Somebody needed to hear this. It's a, it's a fair game. It's a fair balance for you. Things are coming into play. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands. At the bottom, the Page of Swords. Earlier, I saw the King of Swords. Ah! So, you know how you came out at the end as the Knight of Wands? It came out again, clarifying the Seven of Wands, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You, my friends, you are done. For one, you're done with people who are coming in and out of your life and that are, that are here for just a second. Okay, that's not bringing you stability. You're done. You're taking charge. You're you're waiting for your ship. Your I guess your ships. You're over people. Yeah, you're over them. You're standing your ground. You're moving forward. You're not wasting any time, and you're waiting for the best offer for you. So if anybody, if they're not serving you or your higher self, um, you're not accepting it. Okay, you're not accepting any offer <laughs> that's not equal give and take. Okay, and clarify the Knight of Wands. It was almost the five of wands. And what do we, and guess what it, the cherry at the bottom, cancer energy. All right, there are cancers out there right now. They're having birthdays today. Scorpio at the bottom, transformation, okay. I see the seven of wands at the top. This flipped out, but this is what I see. 
Seven of Wands. That's what we just clarified. And the King King of Pentacles being grounded, okay? My fire sign. You're a clarified. Remember how I read this at the other reading? <laughs> the Four of Wands, 11 and 11. Yeah. You are taking action. You're going right after your happiness, okay? You got a wish coming true for some of you guys. You've done the work. You're not accepting anything less than what you deserve, okay? You are just not doing it. You're going to be getting together. Like I, get, like I said, some of you guys can be getting married. Some of you guys can be getting engaged or asking somebody out. The others of you, you could, it could be dealing with work, okay? You can be getting together, having a project, an event, a celebration, whatever it is, however that fits for you, okay? It's, um, it's coming in, my fire sign. It's coming in, it's happy. Okay, you're showing up all of your energy. You've grown up, okay? You've grown up, you leveled, you matured, because you went from the page, you started off as the page, and then you went into the night, which is beautiful. So you took another step and you you spiritually evolved, I feel like. Give us a time frame. Number one, awareness, manifesting at the bottom. Number three, rejoice and celebration again. <sighs> Number one, one day, one week, one month. And for some of you guys, you've been completing a cycle of one year, okay? It says awareness, manifesting, being aware of who you are in your surroundings. The high priestess, she knows all, she sees all, she hears all. Okay, awareness, time frame is beautiful. Let's get one from my love cards. Let's just see. It didn't really, I mean, besides the four of wands, let's see what we have. Okay. Ooh. These we flip around so much. Let's get one card. Abundance. All right. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. It's it's ironic it comes out with this because in, in t original tarot, one is about manifesting and it's about abundance, okay? And being aware. That's how you manifest. And they just came out together. Mm. Let's pull from my light oracle cards. I already picked them up. It's fine. And then we'll do the moon after. I usually pick the moon and then the, this one. We'll do this. There's no difference. <laughs> Let's see what they have to say. What message do we have for our lovely Aries Leo Sagittarius? I am so happy. Get grounded. <laughs> Thank you. You, your vibe, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Amen. It says, and a grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Exactly. You're doing this. You're setting your foundation. You're not wasting any time for others. You have someone who has passed on. Um, grandmother, mother, auntie, sister, um, a female friend, however it is. Grandmother, great-grandmother, <laughs> auntie. I think I said them all. Somebody's watching over you and making sure that you're, you're guided. Okay, my fire sign, you're never alone. You're never alone. Let's get a moon card. I'm so happy. Let's get a moon card. Thank you. Surrender. This came on like every reading. Surrendering to what you can't control. Around this time, this is about you can't control anything, but most importantly, you can go along with the flow. And that's what it's telling you, okay? Surrender to the universe. Surrender all your worries, all your fears, all your troubles to them. Let them help you because everything is going to divine plan anyways. So there's no need to stress or worry. What's yours is yours. Let's get a spirit animal. Let's get a spirit animal. Give me a spirit animal. Thank you. I like it. Simple and straight to the point. Okay, coming out quickly. Tiger. Wow. Tired. It says courageous, dynamic inner strength. You are being guided to begin a new journey, one that is exciting and purpose driven. You have everything you need to confront adversity and turn it into opportunity. Fiercely pursue what you desire. You are an amazing life force with limitless power and potential. Yes, fire signs. Okay. 
y'all. No, they didn't. <laughs> you guys gonna see me stand up one second. Sorry, they want my dress to rise up, and it didn't. Sorry, these wanted to. Look at my. Sorry, guys, I'm adjusting my dress. I just wanted to look appropriate. Um, so <laughs> sorry about that. If you know you see me, it's just gotta make sure I'm okay. Let's get a positive affirmation for you guys, okay? What is a positive affirmation for my lovely fire sign? Abundance came out twice. The bottom is changed. <laughs> it says abundance. I attract abundance into my life each day from all possibilities and directions. You believe this, you know this, you feel it. It's yours. Let's get a message from the angels. What do we have? What do we have for our lovely, lovely fire sign? I'm so happy. What do we have? <laughs> what do we have? What do we have? We got two. The bottom, positivity, faith, and optimism. We got let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done, and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself from them. And it is safe for you to receive. So I'm about to start yawning. Whenever I do angel cards, I wanna yawn. Okay? Excuse me, they're just speaking to me, that's why. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And let's see. Let's see. Let's get a, let's, so this is something that you guys can do to help you sleep, to practice, okay? Because they're getting close. Let's see what they want to tell you. I rest easy under the fog of my thoughts. It says bigger than you. It says lie peacefully and think about the bigger picture. What invisible forces protect and support you through thick and thin? You are a part of something big and powerful, unseen but yet clearly around us. How does it feel to be a part of something bigger than you? The feeling of never being alone will help you. The feeling of never being alone will help you surrender the burden of being responsible for everything. Trust the big picture. I have faith in life. Beautiful. And that concludes your reading, okay? My fire sign, which was really, 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 really beautiful, okay? Let me go ahead. Yeah, I like one card for everything. It was straight to the point. And let's go ahead and read it. Okay, let's do a recap. It says that you are the high priestess. You're strong. You're manifesting. You're getting grounded. You see the truth. You're seeing through things and people. You, you've you worked your way up. You're strong. You can handle a lot of things. All right. You're being honest with yourself. You're listening to your intuition. You're showing up in your energy again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Again, you start off as a page, a new, a new project, a new idea. Whatever you start, it will be fair. It will be equal give and take. It could be dealing with your work or finances. It will be okay, all right? Then you level up to the Knight of Wands, okay? <laughs> twice and so you're you, you get through your th through the obstacles and challenges you get grounded Aries Leo Sagittarius Pisces Cancer Scorpio you get grounded you successfully move forward wasting no time again that's why we had number one you guys you're wasting no time you're over anything that no longer serves you you're only accepting things that resonate with your soul um if somebody is not show giving you what you know you deserve you're not accepting their offers as well um your outcome was the nine of wands and the four of wands aries Leo, sagittarius your own energy so you guys have a wish coming true 11 11 and um again you're not wasting any time you're moving forward some of you guys 
since you want to be successful in business or career matters, it's going to happen. And other you guys, if you want to move on with the love, it will happen, okay? We'll go deeper. Your time frame is number one, one day, one week, one month. And again, no wasting no time. You are aware of your surroundings and who you are. And again, you have the high priestess. You are abundant, okay, within your love life. Keep a positive, manif a positive attitude and you will manifest your love life exactly how you want it. Not saying you can control exactly how it's going to happen, but if you know what you want, it will come to life. And and the grandmother of Jesus, seeding the divine light, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Everything is happening for a reason. It's happening for you, not to you. Surrender to the universe, to things that you can't control, and know that better times are coming so they can intervene and help you. Your spirit animal is a tiger, courageous, dynamic, inner strength. Your positive affirmation is knowing that you are abundant. Remember to let go of guilt, and it is safe for you to receive love and resources, money, anything you want, and to help you sleep. Know that there is something out there bigger than, bigger than you, and say that I have faith in life, and that will help you sleep, okay? My lovely fire sign, that was a really good, really good read, straight to the point. Again, I loved it. If you liked it, if it resonated with you, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go check out my Facebook and Instagram and my other videos on YouTube. And as well, you guys, book a full reading for $25 or a mini for $15. I will see you guys later. Again, subscribe. I hope this resonated with you. Namaste, and I will see you guys till next time. Bye, you guys.